Hello there, it's me, Sari, here again, and today I'm in the midst of a process of making a lantern. And uh, I just felt like taking you on a ride, showing you how the, the thought process and uh, where I'm at, and perhaps even give you a chance of learning from my mistakes as I go along here, because I'm sure I'll be making a couple of mistakes here. Well, the window and window box die from Tim Holtz and Sizzix is the base for this lantern. The size of this is pretty nice, I must say. All in all, it's approximately 8 centimeters by almost 10, so it's 4 inches long and a little bit shorter uh, widthwise. So what I have done to start with, I've die cut these four times out of white paper. I'm keeping this pretty simple because I'm making this into a uh, prototype of sorts. And um, I just wanted to make, make a contrast with the black. So I decided on cutting this piece of paper. The measurement for this is 4 inches wide and 16, uh, 6 inches tall. And that's approximately 16 centimeters. So, since I do have these photo album papers, which are a little bit longer than full-length scrap papers, I decided on uh, taking four, four, four inches, and I scored these as, as this. And the rest piece, left of a piece here, just kept as a folding mechanism for as a flap, really. So, out of one piece of paper, I can get three panels for this, and they actually stick they are in one piece all together like so so that is the main reason and then i made another one uh, it was four inches by six inches and then i just put on a little bit of a flap here and i cut, cut off the edges there so it, it will be easier to just tuck it in nicely like so so now i've got my square so the thing is for me now to decide on how i want to put the base there and I have started making a bottom piece for this. And in order for this not to actually just fall flat through, I decided on taking a half an inch wide paper strips that I rolled like so. Let's see if I can show you. It isn't more difficult than this. I just roll these. And I glued them, glued them, glued them down with some um, uh, my, my glue gun there, like so. And I just glue them down, and hopefully it will give that uh, floor a bit, a little bit, a little bit more stability. So now I'm ready to assemble this floor. Hopefully, let's see where I'll end up. And the measurements for this, of course, is I think it's four by four inches, and then half an inch on the outsides like so and uh, so half an inch four inches half an inch four and half an inch and the other one goes for half an inch ten four inches and half an inch and then i just cut these like this and scored them accordingly in order to be able to just fold it in together really nicely like so so i'm just going to make this into a box and I have put some tape here beforehand so it will quicken the pace up a little bit anyway. So I'm just going to put it there. I'll have to see about this if it actually works as I planned it. Because I do this, do want this to be sturdy since I am making it anyway. But you have to remember that this is a prototype. I'm not giving it any fancy treatments or so. I'm just keeping it simple, really. You know, I do believe that I really don't need these flaps that I've got here. Perhaps I ought to just cut them off. I don't need doubles. I'm going to cut them off like that and just put to put this tape into use. So 
So now I've got myself a stage or a floor or something and my thought is to just glue this around the floor and um, in that way make sure that it actually fits and it's going to stay in its place. And I'm going to wait a little before I glue this one down. So I might as well just put some tape there. Let's see if I can make a quicker way. Sometimes these tapes give me a hard time, especially when I'm going to take off the backing tape. But let's see where I'll end up with this. I do like them being of different widths. Another one that I've got from a Swedish company called Biltema is really nice, but, <clears throat> but I have to trim it to the, the width that I'm looking for. I might as well put it here, because I will be taking that off when I'm ready. And I'm thinking that perhaps I ought to put another strip, because it's that wide, you see. You might as well just do the same thing there. So let's see if this will work. So far, so good. And I'm just going to put it like so. Well, you know, this is going to be on the inner side. I had better start here, I suppose. Putting it like so. And since I do want to well as it were I did cut off a piece of this side at one point because I felt like that it was going to be too long but I'm sure I put it there in the wrong fashion so in this case I will be having a gap here Hopefully I'll be able to put the lid on, now that I'm making it bigger. I'm thinking I'll have to struggle here, because I have prepared the lid as for so long. And since I'm going to take the lid off, I'm going to talk to you about this one soon, I still have the possibility of putting in plastic here on the inside if I want to make the windows look like windows, really. So this is a base and it does feel sturdy enough, I must say. As for this one, I just took a piece of a strip of paper and I decided on where I wanted to have that scored line. At this time, I'm just going to give you an inclination of how I did it. So I just made it like this and I, let's say I had nine and a half, I'm not sure how to think now, two, one, two and a half, let's say seven and so forth. So I cut these open and I actually just cut them off, like cut a, cut a small slit off. In that way it's easier to fold it inwards. So in this case I just turn them like so, glue them together and I ended up with something like this. And then I have put on a bit, a bit of lace and some plastic pearl band. And um, 
you know, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm supposed to put the bottom piece here. Could of course suffice with this one as it is, but I do feel like it's going to be a little bit more fancy with a bottom piece like so. So let's see if I can make it work with some uh, glue from a glue gun. Let's hope. And now it's the problem of getting things straight. Just have a quick look and a quick move about. And if I'm going to put any plastic on here, I had better put something underneath just to even up the underneath line surface. So in this case, I could actually just work it uh, having something as deep or high as the bottom piece here. So now I'm actually getting somewhere, I think. And then I decided on, instead of making it in, into a cone, I, at first I'm going to have a cylinder like this. And, um, well, I wanted to make a cone uh, top for this, but I don't really know how to do this because I haven't got a pattern for it. So I decided on making something that I know how to do. So I started off making a cylinder. At first I thought I'd have this here and make a small cylinder, but it, as, as it turned out, this one turned out a little bit too big. So I thought I'd just make it black and um, instead of hiding these somehow, I thought I'd just keep them back so because they make a pattern out of themselves now, don't they? So now it's a question for me to just how, find a way of gluing it down and also making this one go down. So I have made a top piece for that, cut really long slits and now I'm going to put some tape on the inside here. And for this I think I'm going to use the a bit stronger tape because I know it will stick better. So I'm just going to put it there on the inside, making sure it won't stick out too much on that So it won't be visible when I'm ready. Just going to put it there. So let's see if my thought will work with me. Peeling off the backing tape. And I have to take it from the other side because I have overlapped it. Thank God for long nails, eh? And now I'm actually going to push it in from the inside. Otherwise I'll have to struggle quite a bit, I think, when it comes to making those flaps go in. So in this case I'm hoping that the tape won't stick until I tell it to. And uh, now it's a question of just finishing it off, making it pretty. And uh, you might luck out and you might not. It's a good thing to just have something round to make the shape for this out of first. So you really manipulate the paper so it will actually be more as you want it. You could of course continue embellishing this with some pearls and such. So I'm hoping this will do. You could put a some kind of a pearl thing there because it isn't, isn't easy to make it completely uh, tight or yes you know so before I am if I'm before I'm going to glue this one down I have to think about how I'm going to be able to lift off the lid and I was thinking of making a handle and for this I'm also going to use a bit stronger tape and uh, well I'm going to make an overlapping thing here 
Now I see that the tape is a bit too wide, but I'm sure I can trim it off later. And anyway, I'm going to just put something else on top of this so it doesn't really matter if it's tape here or not. So the question is of how long it should be. I'm going to put this one there. It's starting to look like a graduate graduation hat, isn't it? And for this, I'm going to be needing a handle that is something like this, perhaps. It needs to be a little bit longer. So I could actually glue this down, I think, and sort of make it work. I could also make a mark with a pencil, so I know where I'm at. And I'm going to put the tape there, and this time I'm going to make it a little bit thinner. I'm just going to put it there. Hoping it will work, I'm not sure at all. And I'm going to use that line that I put there, and I'm going to just put that one there. And I might as well just take that extra piece that I had thought of putting there and just go on with the tape. So it'll be a little bit more sturdy. So now it's a question of putting it over the other. And I'm just going to cover I didn't do that great job now, did I? Hopefully I can put this one under, so nobody's going to be the wiser. So what I could start off with, I suppose, is putting this one here. I do need something to keep it sturdy, and I'm thinking of using My tiny attachment, I believe that the staples are too small, but I thought I'd give it a go anyway. Perhaps they'll stay in place at least a little bit. And I forgot to put any glue on there, my goodness. Let's make another one then. No, it doesn't work. So, as I just told you, mistake number one. I have covered a piece of uh, corrugated paper or cardboard with some black paper, and this is the reason for it being so thick. So now at least I know where I had intended to put this. I'm just going to take the tape like so. 
and uh, I need to put this one here and for this I'm thinking of actually using both the glue gun but I'm going to put on put on the hat first and for this I'm thinking of just putting using my glue gun because I'm going to put some kind of a band here off to cover the, cover it up and this is a really nice way to make things stick give it some pressure and the glue isn't that hot so you can actually touch it even though I wouldn't recommend it too soon like so and now for this I'm going to use both the tape that I have put on since before but I'm also going to use some tape that I've got, my glue that I've got here and since I'm a bit afraid of this being a bit crooked perhaps I need to do it this way so I need to put this on top of the lantern first and perhaps it will end up crooked hopefully not but if it does I suppose and if I'm too bothered by it I could actually remake it so let's see if I can put this here like so and now it's a problem because the glue isn't going to stay hot for that long so I have to be pretty quick about this have a look see underneath and it looks rather nice give it some pressure a prototype eh? and then you can imagine a battery driven candle inside there and my original thought was because I wanted to be able to carry this so I was thinking of actually piercing a hole from here to here through both layers and I could put in a stick or bamboo stick or something perhaps painted black even and just to have it there so I could carry this around as it is now because it is a bit tight it works I can lift it up without the lid falling off but with a candle or something in there it might get too too heavy and uh, I'm a bit afraid it won't help me so when I'm going to lift this off I'm going to use this piece of course so let's see what I could do as for decorating it further There are many ways of putting trims and things and bling things and you know you, you needn't be that careful about it either I suppose you could just go wild put in tons of like this <laughs> could be fun even though I'm just kidding around here could be fun looking now couldn't it and um, you could of course go with black just to keep it neutral you could also try it out to see if the pearls will end up nicely there and you could of course have something white before so you can actually pick up the whiteness of the what you have done before I could of course go with the same lace but the problem here putting something in a round shape will automatically give you a problem with the lace it's hard to get it as you want so you have, you have better luck with pearls and such so I think that is the reason I'm thinking about pearls perhaps I could put these black pearls down here a bit loosely because then I think they will end up nicely and I could of course put in another 
row of uh, bling, if you will. Let's see what happens. Some of these pearls aren't that equally threaded. You know, I need to It's a bit problematic with the stand on the glue gun here. There's a tendency of sticking here and there. Just to give it some bling definition, but not that visible. You know, it's a good way to know if a person is a finish or not because when he or she injures herself she usually says Bergele and that is such a strong way of expressing oneself and I'm just going to need something for that little bugger there like so and now I have to make sure that I haven't got these glue threads all over the place. So this is what it looks like right now. I could go on further, putting on some flowers. So I think I'll just pause here to give you a chance of actually melting or just digesting what I have shown you now. And it will something give me at the same time give me some more time to think about what to do next. So I'll be back to show you what I have come up with. Thank you.